If you are lucky and going to Rome and landing at the Champino airport, there are several ways you could get to the city center. I would encourage you to take the public transportation for only one and a half euros. But you can also choose to pay for an Uber taxi, and I met others who did that and they paid 20 euros for it. Alternative, there is a bus company which drives from the airport to Termini station, which is the largest station in Rome. The tickets there cost from 4 euros and up. But it can be more expensive if you have to continue by metro or bus when you arrive at Termini station where the bus ends. Because then you still have to buy the same ticket for 1.5 euros, which I would suggest you buy from the beginning. Therefore, I would recommend you to use public transportation only. In Rome, they have a transport system where you pay 1.5 euros for the ticket and you can then use it for one metro ride and all the buses you want to within the time period. Because as soon as the ticket is stamped, it works for 100 minutes. Therefore, you can get almost directly from the airport to your residence for less than $3. First, you buy the ticket at the airport where there is an office and then you take the bus number 520 which drives from 5.30 am in the morning to 11 pm in the evening. There's a big sign when you get out of the airport so it's pretty easy to spot the place to take the bus. Then you take the bus to the metro station Senisita. Line A runs from there, stopping at Termini station among other places. From Termini station you can then take the bus to your hotel if it's located in Rome's old city center. And that is how you get from the airport to Rome for less than $3. Some other good information you should know about the ticket system is that you can buy tickets that last for one or several days. You can for example buy them at the metro stations. However, we only bought single tickets because many attractions in Rome are close to each other, so they are in walking distance from one another. But when we had to take the public transportation to get from A to B, I used Google Maps app where I wrote where I wanted to go in the search box and then I clicked on the small train icon and then I could see some suggestions to how I could get there by bus, tram or the metro. Another good app that I am a big fan of is the app Maps.me, which works offline. With this app you can download the map of a place you are going to and then you can mark the places that you would like to see on the map. This allows you to quickly get a digital overview over Rome's sites and the distance between the attractions. Many well-known buildings and places are, like I said, within walking distance of each other and therefore the app Maps.me is really good to use as a tool as it also works as a GPS and can show you the way. If you are interested in knowing more about the attractions and places that I would recommend you to see in Rome, then you can watch my other video about the 15 attractions I suggest that you will see in the Italian capital. There I also give you my best advices on where to get the best gelato ice cream, how to avoid scams when you want to see the Colosseum or the Vatican, what to remember and which attractions that will take a lot of time to see and so much more. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions feel free to write to me. You're also welcome to hit the subscribe button if you want more good travel tips from my travels around the world. Have a good day, bye!